Breaking news. Nigerians should learn. Dino Malaya reacts as Ghanaians reject bags of rice from politicians. Of course, Dino, we know you are our very own brother. Thank you for speaking. And I think you have spoken well in this light, in this regards. You know, uh, Ghanaian, uh, Ghanaian people, you know, threw back the evil that politicians keep doing all across Africa back on their face and tell them, what do you take us for? A bag of rice that we eat under two weeks is gone. Then you will mortgage our future for another three, four years, just like we're having in Nigeria today. A lot of persons came, and the likes of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, who sold that Nigeria, continue to sell Nigeria, and is telling them now that it's his turn. He, he has to be president. So a lot of water has gone below the bridge. And guess what Ghanaians did? They told them, we don't want it. Thanks, but no thanks. You see, and you know, said Nigerians must now stand up to that kind of, you know, position and where the, no is no. No means no. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Nigerians should learn. Dino Malaya reacts as Ghanaians reject bags of rice from politicians. Senator Dino Malaya, who represented Kogi West Sanitarial District at the 8th Assembly, has urged Nigerians' youth to grow up and stop selling their votes to politicians. It will not help you, I can assure you. They don't care. They don't mean it good for you. The senator made a call in a post via his Instagram account while reacting to a video of a Ghanaian youth rejecting bag of rice from a politician. The angry youths of Damogo town in Ghana were seen rejecting bags of rice sent to them by NPP politician Samuel Abu, who represented their constituency in the country parliament. The youth also took turns to carry the bags of rice back to the hillocks that brought them while instructing the politician to immediately leave the vicinity with his goods. Dino Malaya said, this is the way to go. They were also chanting, we need jobs, not bags of rice. Stop this. When you came for a campaign, you told us you will support us. You will create jobs and you will enable people from this constituency to be gainfully employed. Not a single person has been recorded employed. Yet, you have been living and fulfilling your dream. Is it when you are out of the place? You are supposed to be protecting. You are supposed to be speaking for the people. You have done none of this. You come today to give us bag of rice. We don't want it. Go leave this vicinity. We need jobs. We need good roads. We need what will help our community grow, not bags of rice. This, the youth began to chant at the politician as they returned the bag of rice to the hillocks. They were also chanting, we need the jobs. Reacting, Dino wondered if the same instance can also occur in Nigeria. He further noted that Nigerian youth needs to grow up and equally learn from Ghanaian youth. Ghanaian youth rejected free bags of rice from politicians and demanded for job creation. Can this happen in Nigeria? To be honest, Nigerian needs, youth needs to grow up and know what they want. If you don't know what you want, somebody will give you just anything. Uh, you need to know what you want. Knowing what you want will go a long way. When you know what you want, nobody can bamboozle you. Uh, when you know what you want, ah, uh, when they come, you say, no, this is not what I requested for. I know what I requested for. It was job, not bag of rice. Can you take this rice away from here? It was job we requested for, not bag of rice. It was job, not bag of rice. And this is what, you see, Africa, this is why things are the way they are. Somebody will take that rice now and say, ah, at least so we have rice to eat today. We are not talking about... Politicians must also understand that people are not, um, people are not, we are not oblivion to the fact that we know that they are just there and whatever they are promising, they don't really care. It's because of what they want. And Nigerians must begin to understand that these people you call politicians, they are not your brothers, they are not your sisters. Most of them in Africa, there is no decorum, there is no understanding as to what the job really entails and all that they need to do. You know, they just do things anyhow, nobody, no control, nobody's checking, nobody's ensuring that they are doing things decently and in order. There's no decorum, everything is just done. They do whatever they want to do and they get away with it. You see, by the time the youth begins to understand that 2,000 naira or 20,000 naira is not the way forward, then they will begin to take, you know, begin to, they will draw back and begin to understand. So what do we do? 
By the time everybody rejects their things with them, they will go back and they will get what we call jobs for the people. They will go back and they'll begin to rethink and rephrase their, you know, their, their mindset with regards to this people, to, to, to the people they are serving. They are behaving this way because they feel that they've gotten the people. They are behaving this way because they know that the people have got no choice. They will still come back to them. It's not the people. They will still come back to them. And so because of that, they can do and undo and get away with it because they know uh, nobody will say anything. Uh, these people, they don't, they don't even know what they want. Uh, just divide money for them. They will call the leader, give the leader a very huge sum of amount, amount of money. And the leader will go and will tell the people, eh, we have spoken. They say we should have a meeting tomorrow. I watched a, 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 a Nigerian movie recently and I was like, my God. The people were so aggrieved and were so angry, you know, and were not happy at all. And they came and, it, you know, and they made their position. They were angry. They came to the, to the, to the, uh, to the office of the chairman to say blah, blah, blah. Guess what? <laughs> Do you know that? <laughs> they now said, okay, can, we, can the chairman speak to your representative? Two of them went inside. And guess what? As soon as they came in, the, the, the chairman that they came to you know, express their grievances at, he just brought out a bundle of money, I mean a bag of money. Come and see these two representatives trying to hide the money from the others. You heard me correctly. Trying to hide, conceal the money very well. And immediately they say, ah, no, 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 worry, don't worry, don't worry, we'll talk to them. And, they, and the other one says, so what, what are we going to tell them? Say, well, we'll go there and tell them that uh, the meeting has been slated for uh, next month. He has traveled, he'll be back. And I was just watching this movie and I was seeing things being displayed. I say, really? Really? You know? And he went and said, well, uh, uh, he's not around now, as you can see. We have spoken to uh, the secretary and uh, they said we should come back in a in, in month's time. When we come back, he will understand us. Meanwhile, they've collected money. Those two have collected money. The rest that came. Do you get what I mean? But that's not what they came to fight for. They came to fight for the betterment of the people of their community. They, they, there's no road. They came to speak out for what will better them. But guess what? A few sabotaged the whole situation. And you think that road will ever be done? You think that school will forever be renovated? The money they should have used, two people have taken it. And this is why Africa is not developed. This is why things are the way they are. God will help us. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember you have a voice. Bye for now.